Again, I have encountered the word to be uncovered in Genesis 9, verse 21, and the word nakedness in the following verse 22. And I did continue encountering them throughout the Bible. In all honesty, at first I thought that I shouldn't include these scriptures in my studies because to be naked is not something that I would be proud of nor something that I would want to promote. I felt that it just wasn't a good symbol to associate and connect with the holiness of God. I was just so hesitant to do it. You know, my original goal during my journey was to reference body coverings only, the covering of it, and not the uncovering. But God continued to bring these words up to be naked, to be uncovered constantly, not just in the scriptures, but also in my mind. And then it turned out that I wouldn't just read these descriptions for the sake of reading. He would actually speak to me using them exactly the same way he spoke to me with the actual clothing and garment details all over the Holy Scriptures. You know, there's a reason why he wants me to know why a person has been uncovered and why the person is naked. He constantly talks about them. They are all symbols and it pertains with our body which he has created. And isn't it interesting how in Genesis 2.25 I read and learned that nakedness was a form of holiness and glory. And then in the following chapter, the very same word became a form of shame. What is so amazing is that as I continue reading and studying, I began to get a clearer and a better understanding of their meaning, of which I will continue sharing. Okay, let's read. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. Genesis 9, 21 and 22. Ham saw his own father, Noah's naked body, inside his tent, and that is Noah's tent, and that is his home. He sees this and tells his brothers that are outside, outside Noah's tent. Well, what was Ham's motivation? Was it because he was bored, had nothing else to do, and needed a little entertainment, a little laugh, or was it that he previously was holding something against his father? Okay, so listen what Genesis 6, 9 says about Noah in the New Living Translation. Noah was a righteous man, the only blameless person living on earth at the time. And the Amplified Version says, in his evil generation and he walked in close fellowship with God. And isn't that extremely amazing to be found blameless in his sight, to walk so intimately close with him? I mean, shouldn't that be our number one desire? So was Ham fed up with this perfect person, Noah? Was he fed up with seeing how close he walked with God? Did all of this anger him, made him jealous? Maybe he couldn't wait to see his father fail. And it did happen. He sees his father drunk and passed out within his tent. Wait, not just drunk and passed out, but also uncovered, naked, with the intention of humiliating and publicizing his father's shame. He decided to go outside and announce this to his brothers. Let me say this again. Ham, see his father's Noah nakedness. And he appears to be very vulnerable. Yet, he decides to announce this to others. I can't even picture myself doing such things to my own parents, nor friends. It is not moral, not honorable. It's just something that's so shameful. Beyond words, I mean, I myself will be embarrassed for the person. I'll go and run and cover them. These two illustrations are inspired by this very vulnerable situation. Noah uncovered, naked, ashamed, and defenseless. And this to be announced. Horrible. Again, why did Ham tell his brothers? Why couldn't he cover his father? 
his father's Jenkins, and why the need to expose them. So stay tuned for the next scripture and illustration where we will get to see how God turns this all around.